Plasticard is a regular resource in the realm of modeling. It comes in a variety of shapes and its flexibility makes it ideal for customizing models or bases. It's a fairly low cost material, but it might be a bit too pricey for a massive amount of bases. What if I told you that most likely you and every adult you know might have a source of plastic card you throw away without even thinking about it? Old credit cards. Not just credit cards though. Health insurance, retail reward cards, or any other type of plastic card you carry around. If they're expired, they're typically chopped up and thrown away. Well, I'm all about that environmentalism in this case, and I say recycle those into some snazzy new bases. Now for the purposes of my demonstration, I'll be using a pre-cut card. They may be expired, but they still contain sensitive information that wouldn't be wise to broadcast to the internet. So due to the thickness of this material, I wouldn't recommend using an X-Acto blade. It'll take multiple passes and really wear down the blade to cut through. I think a modeling hacksaw or scissors would be a better solution. I also wouldn't recommend making a pattern that utilizes curves. Straight angle shapes like squares, rectangles, and triangles will be a lot easier and quicker to cut. If you're worried about the accuracy of your cuts, just cut a little bit bigger than you intend to and then sand down the excess afterwards. I start by gluing one of my bricks roughly in the center of the base and build out a row to the edges of the base. Then start another row offset from the previous one and repeat until the base is full. I've chosen to use sunken bases in this video to show a problem that doesn't occur with flat bases. Due to the concave nature of the base, we can't build out our bricks to the edges and then clip off the excess like we did in the previous cardstock video. Instead, we have to trim our edge bricks as we lay them. Once you've got your grid in place, you can apply any additional details you have like debris from urban decay or decor for your fancy flooring. Paint appropriately and appreciate your work. Also consider your color choices. I know I reference these bases as stone and brick, but that doesn't mean it has to be brown or gray. While the designs of these bases are intended to be simple, the color scheme does not have to be, so try some interesting color combinations if you don't like the plain brick look. The thickness of this material gives it a lot more depth than the cardstock, and it shows. This material is good for tiles, but I think it really excels at creating a large flat surface like a paved cement floor or metal plates. I hope this was useful information, or at the very least it got you thinking of where you can find new materials for modeling and basing. In the next video we'll be working with a much more voluminous material, so subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you then.